we've arrived in Kuala Lumpur this afternoon. We went to Nando's for our lunch, which probably doesn't sound very exciting, but we've not had Nando's since before we were moved to China. So that was really good. And now we're just chilling in the hostel, all really tired and really full from the Nando's. So yeah, not, not too many plans. <laughs> Good morning! So it's our first full day in Kuala Lumpur and we have headed out to the city gallery and I think you pronounce it Medica Square? Medica Square? Which is just here. And we're going on a walking tour and annoyingly it's raining so yeah not the best weather for a walking tour but it should be good. I'm excited to learn more about Kuala Lumpur because I feel like I don't really know very much about it at all. So that'll be good. Um, we were Googling it last night actually, found some interesting things, speak so many languages here and yeah, just want to learn a bit more about it. So I'm looking forward to that and hopefully the race starts. Hopefully things is behind an Indian restaurant which is really good and we've ordered tosai tosai so I have an egg one and Katie has an onion one and Amy got some mixed vegetables which is a bit small in comparison but she's waiting on a chapati and we got some fresh juice as well really so I'm just under the tree hiding from the rain this morning we went on a walking tour it's a theme of these videos going on a walking tour um, which is really interesting there actually city tours put on by the mayor so we got to go to this telecommunications museum for free and see how they would do the Morse code and stuff it was really interesting we went to a temple which was for the Chinese community that's in Malaysia so that was interesting to see the similarities between that and the temples back home in Shanghai um, and then I think tonight we might be going to the restaurant street to have some street food and then we found a rooftop bar so we might be going there for a drink as well to go to the food street today so instead we've gone to a rooftop bar and you can see the Petronas flowers in the background <laughs> and these two <laughs> we're just having a nice cocktail
This is our third day in Malaysia and today we have been to the Eco Forest Park so it's a bit weird because there's all the skyscrapers of the big city and then just in the middle there's this forest park but it was really nice and there was a canopy walk through the forest park so we had really good views of the, of the forest and the skyscrapers and then after that we went for some lunch in this place we saw in the tour yesterday that did traditional Malaysian food which was really good and then we went to the market and bought a few things we spent quite a while in there, it's really really big um, probably spent more money than we wanted to we got some henna done which is really nice they had um, a little India section where they were doing henna tattoos and now we are hopefully going to go to the food restaurant street and then maybe go for a few drinks try and look for somewhere but so we don't we're not sure what's going to happen with that in Kuala Lumpur and I am currently at the botanical gardens in the city centre. They're really nice and chill and peaceful. We went out last night and it was ladies night so women got free drinks so quite a few of the bars near our hostel were doing that so we went to one bar and had a few cocktails last night. Had a bit of a lion this morning and then a slow saunter to the park. Nothing too taxing and for our lunch we're going to be going to Brickfields which is the Indian district in Kuala Lumpur. I think it's the new one that is Little India as well which we went to on one of our tours. But yes, have some nice lunch there and then this evening around 7 we have booked to go up the Petronas Towers so we're going to go to the sky deck and hopefully if it's at 7, fingers crossed, we'll see the sunset over Kuala Lumpur which should be really beautiful. Peace. 
Sindhuri Kutna, Maharaja Lela. Next station, Maharaja Lela. It's our last day in Kuala Lumpur and today we went to the Batu Caves this morning which were they were they were nice um, but very touristy I'd say it took a long time to find any information about the, the caves um, yeah we all we felt like we left not really knowing that much about it really other than just seeing a lot of tourists taking pictures but you know I'm glad we went and then for lunch we went to this little market um, that was doing kind of like street food which is really good and then we went to a painting shop and obviously couldn't film in there but you could do your own painting and this is the painting I did so just of a butterfly and Tonight, for last night, we're going to go back to this restaurant we went to at the beginning of the week. They did a really, really nice curry. And yeah, then flying home back to Shanghai tomorrow. So, we are on our way to the airport. We're leaving Kuala Lumpur now and going back to Shanghai. Um, we're going to the airport quite early. We have a bit of extra money, so we're going to see if we can buy at the airport. I saw a Dubrovnik Smith in there, which sadly is very exciting <laughs> to go to Dubrovnik Smith. And yeah, so we're going to be going home for a few weeks. Our parents will come in to visit us in Shanghai and then we'll be going to 